All right, so uh, this is class five. Let's get to it. Um, the next thing to do, now you have your character modeled, you have it UV'd, um, and you're good to go. So now you can actually start um, adding color and, and uh, nuance and bumpiness and uh, shininess and paint all the different attributes of the surface. Okay, so generally speaking, we do is we call this character texturing, okay? And the idea is such that what you do is that you use a variety. So just like as you put a material onto your model so you know there's like blend there's lambert there's ocean shader there's a whole slew of them and on them you have sliders so you can generally adjust the shininess the transparency uh diffuse uh translucency um specular uh specular color and eccentricity and such um you can adjust all these things with sliders the problem is that that adjusts the entire surface what you can do instead, and also as well as color, right? So you can click and you can choose a swatch and make it red or make it green or make it blue or whatever color makes you feel warm and fuzzy. The problem with that, though, is that it does the entire surface as a whole, which is fine for some things. Some things are just entirely one thing, um, but most things are not. Usually there's nuance in there. So what you could do instead is into each one of those, instead of using sliders or swatches or things that, that cover the entire surface, you can instead... Uh, input a raster image, so just a bitmap, uh, any sort of, uh, you know, PNG, JPEG, whatever, uh, whatever makes you feel good, um, into those, and you can paint those attributes across the surface. So, like, for instance, I have this sphere here. I could paint red into here, 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 and green into here, here, here. Instead of having an entirely red or an entirely green surface, I can paint the shininess, where it should be shiny, and paint where it should be bumpy. Um, so if you look, this looks fake. You can see on the side here that it's not actually bumped out, but it has a, a, a fake appearance of it. So that's character texturing. Basically, it's a, a more specific way of applying uh, the material. Okay. So to do this, what we're going to do for this project is actually use Adobe Photoshop. Um, inside of Maya, it actually has a built-in thing called the PSD Network. Uh, and what it does is that allows you to take your model... You go into the UV texture editor, uh, and then there's a little sub menu, and you go send a PSD, and it'll create this PSD network, and it'll actually even open up Photoshop for you, um, which is fine. It's not my preferred way of doing, but there, it's hard to argue that Photoshop has the best raster imaging uh, tools out there. Okay, now there are 3D painting apps, and and they're very good, uh, they're very nice, uh, but a lot of times, and you'll see this. Um, They'll do most of their work in there, but there are some things that they just don't offer that Photoshop does. Now, for this, honestly, it would still be easier to use one of those other softwares. Um, but this used to be, like, the main way to do it. There was a time where we didn't have the ability to paint in a 3D space. Um, so, for this project, that's what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to take your stuff, you're going to bring it into um, Photoshop, and you're going to paint it in there. Okay? Um, and you're going to do this in a more hand-painted um, method. And basically, you're going to do these three main maps. Okay? Um, and, oh, there's the tutorial. Okay, so you'll do a color map, you'll do a bump map, and you'll do a specular. So specular, if you remember, is where it's shiny and where it's not. The bump makes, uh, uh, fakes a, a, well, a bumpiness onto the surface. Okay? Uh, and the color, obviously, is, is color or diffuse or... Uh, albedo or whatever there's different names for it so the next time what I want you to do is take your model and it should already be UV'd I want you to bring it into Photoshop and to paint it in Photoshop and that's basically what these uh, tutorials here cover um, they do it in a very quick way uh, you should spend much more time on it I just don't want you to watch in a tutorial forever and ever uh, this should hopefully uh, suffice uh, here's the rubric for it and that's basically it so um, I wish you the best of luck